What's happening is that the doors to people's hearts are opening, that your heart center, your heart chakra, if you will, which spins in greenish yellow, that's the color of grass in the botanical world. That color of grass is that color because of 528. In fact, you would not have 5,280 feet in a measured mile if it wasn't for 528. You wouldn't have circles. You wouldn't have any sacred geometry. You wouldn't have pyramids. Pyramids are intimately constructed based on the mathematics of pi, phi. You wouldn't have pi or phi without 528. In other words, you wouldn't have anything without love. Welcome back, everybody, to Reading the Book of 528. This is Chapter 10. Hope everybody's enjoying this intro that we've been adding in there. Let me get on 528, though. <clears throat> I'm going to adjust the volume so it's good for everybody on the YouTube side. Uh, shout out to everybody that's here live. Thank you to everybody who's live on YouTube. Thank you to everybody who's live on TikTok. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for your presence. I know that's a little bit loud. Let me turn that down. So we're just making sure our volumes are good. I think we're doing pretty good here. <clears throat> um, all right, I believe, yeah, I think we're good. That's on repeat. All right, everybody. Again, thank you for being here live. Shout out to everybody on TikTok. Thank you all for the love. We uh, actually just hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel right as we started this video. So shout out to everybody that's on YouTube. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your kindness. And thank you for your love. Um, I'm so excited to read this chapter and continue. Following this stream, we're going to be doing Meditation Monday, number 42. So it'll probably be a quick break in between. That's why we're only going to be reading one chapter today. Um, but regardless, I'm super excited. So let's get right into this. Uh, to anybody who is new here, we kind of start off our streams the same way, just to catch up anybody to speed that uh, is new, that is joining in for the first time. So shout out to anybody who is here new. That is, or sorry, again, we are reading the book of 528. That is by Dr. Leonard Horowitz. And um, this is kind of the, uh, Maddie, shout out to you. Thank you for being here. Sending good vibes back to you. This is the uh, dedication to the book. Ostara, thank you for coming in here. Everybody, thank you for being here. And this is kind of like the preface to uh, the book. And I always feel it's important to read this, again, for anybody who is new, to kind of catch you up to speed as to why we're reading this and why uh, we're putting so much energy into this at this time. So here we go. The Book of 528, Prosperity Key of Love, may be the most important book in history following the Holy Bible and Aristotle's physics that birthed modern religions and science. The divided worlds of science and religion shall merge from this knowledge of 528, the musical mathematical frequency of spiritual energy fundamental to space and time. 528 unites every field, illuminating love for the enlightenment of humankind. 528, the universal love constant, manifests miracles from love and makes love miraculous. 528 is responsible for the constant flow of love that heals and sustains people spiritually. The heart of this clear channel of music, 528 hertz on the universal dial, broadcasts you into existence every nano instant. These revelations compel civilization to build a new foundation in celebration of love that is sourcing, unifying, and guiding all creation. May this 528 key of the house of David facilitate civilization's salvation through spiritual evolution. Starts off on a pretty high note, huh? Uh, thank you all for being here. We're going to get right down to chapter 10, make sure I get the page number so I don't spend forever scrolling. Um, thank you to anybody who's been watching this series. If you're tuning in, in the future, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so grateful to be spreading this uh, awareness about 528 and to be speaking this message. Um, very grateful for all it has manifested that we're going to be able to interview the author of this book this Friday on the 19th. I'm just so unbelievably grateful for that. Um, so just because I brought that up, I'll invite anybody that's here uh, live or if you're here in the future to please uh, leave any comments of questions that you have as we'll have the ability to ask the author those questions and um, get the most downloads of 528 that we can, the most understanding. 
So that that is the intention why that brought that up. Shout out to everybody again who's in here live. Thank you all so much. I'm going to get a drink of tea and we will start reading chapter 10. All right. Again, thank you all for being here live, YouTube and TikTok and in the future. Chapter 10, Healing with 528 Love Vibrations. The Western world has been paralyzed by dissonance on every level as outlined in the previous chapters. I've explained how and why this condition was achieved on behalf of the Illuminati, a small group of wealthy, powerful thugs controlling money, the mainstream media, including the music industry, Big Pharma, the energy cartel, as well as China's and Russia's evolution into quasi-capitalism from strict communism. Clearly, the Eastern world is being influenced by the Western world, including its music. I have heralded a way out of this mess, featuring music tuned to nature, particularly 528 hertz frequency. This can phase lock humanity back to optimal integrity between body, mind, and spirit. The concept that love, the universal healer, resonating at 528 hertz, can miraculously manifest this return to health and cure pandemic, spiritual degeneration and paralysis, was also presented. This frank assertion is like the story of Jesus healing a paralyzed man in Mark 2. The positive result astonished the naysayers, including Jesus' enemies. Here is the passage simply worded from the complete Jewish Bible. Just a little excerpt. Yeshua returned and word spread that he was back. So many people gathered around the house so that there was no longer any room, not even front of the door. While he was preaching the message to them, four men came to him carrying a paralyzed man. They could not get near Yeshua because of the crowd, so they stripped the roof over the place where he was, made an opening, and lowered the stretcher with the paralytic lying on it. Seeing their trust, Yeshua said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. Some Torah teachers sitting there thought to themselves, How can this fellow say such a thing? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins except God? But immediately Yeshua, perceiving in his spirit what they were thinking, said to them, Why are you thinking these things? Which is easier to say to the paralyzed man, Your sins are forgiven, or Get up, pick up your stretcher, and walk. But look, I will prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, I say to you, get up, pick up your stretcher, and go home. In front of everyone, the man got up, picked up his stretcher, and left at once. And here is an equally important part of the story. As he passed on from there, he saw Levi ben Halphi sitting in the tax collection booth and said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. As Yeshua was in Levi's house eating, many tax collectors and sinners were sitting with Yeshua and his Talmudim, for there were many among him, for there were many of them among his followers. <clears throat> when the Torah teachers and the Frushism, Frushim saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, they said to his Talmudim, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? But hearing the question, Yeshua answered them, The ones who need a doctor aren't the healthy but the sick. I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners. In other words, <clears throat> the righteous never need healing because they are standing correctly within the law of the kingdom of heaven, wherein nothing is missing or broken. The foremost definition of righteous is justice, or just is, that is, pure being. The word forgiven derives from for given. Given is the past tense of the verb to give. The act of sin, in this case, is in the past, or not the now, like pure being just is. The first definition of the word for is obsolete at an earlier time or period, meaning the sin in this matter is no longer relevant. What is relevant, according to Jesus' teachings, is love <clears throat> in the now. Love, the universal healer, is the frequency of justice, Righteous, solid, spirit, water, or just ice, in sync with the law of the musical mathematical matrix, otherwise called the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> this is the wisdom Jesus faithfully celebrated by telling the paralyzed man his sins were forgiven as a function of faithfully loving God and his brothers and sisters in our divine family. 
This book's intended audience is the same as those who needed Jesus' counsel. Sinners, tax collectors, teachers, and others sick and enslaved by false doctrines, faithlessness, and paralyzing fears. In the above story, as always, faith is the key that opens loving hearts. The people's faith moved the Son of Man to simply and boldly celebrate the truth. The paralyzed man was well enough to get up and walk home once he believed his sins were forgiven. Then the restorative energy flowed as it always does from heaven. The level of faith in a mustard seed can move mountains, Jesus said. It is by faith, he claimed, that every one of his followers were healed. If you consider sin, as discussed previously, as simply being out of sync with the law, the matrix of divine truth, then you realize that all disease manifests from this fundamental dissonance. In essence, illnesses are conditions triggered by the faithless arrogance and irreverence to God. When you lack heartfelt faith and respect for your sustainer, you become an outlaw to universal justice. You disconnect from source, and metaphorically, the spiritual kingdom ceases to recharge your batteries. Metaphysically, your stress and depleted energy quickly invites dis-ease because the loving, protective, and restorative energy of divine harmony can no longer reach you metaphysically. This is the next passage. Sound and light signaling from heaven. Shout out to everybody that's here. Thank you so much for being here. Signs of spiritual well-being include robust physical health and energy. Your body and spirit exchange energy, and all healing is accomplished by the Holy Spirit, not drugs or chemistry. Sound and light signaling within your body sources similarly from the musical mathematical matrix of divine frequencies. Increasingly, these facts of nature are being proven. For instance, in a study of DNA in relation to cosmic, i.e. circadian, rhythms, stress, and organism development, A team at Dartmouth Medical School scholars determined that lunar cycles and light frequencies impacted at least six genes responsible for protein synthesis, organism metabolism, genetic repair, and healing. Japanese biophist T. Iwita considered light and sound interactions knowing that energy electrons follow the force of acoustic waves and are measurable. From this, a math... A mathematical equation governing the interaction between photon and phonon energy was determined. To help explain how light sound signaling transmits through your body, that is, through the layers of liquid crystal making up the lattice, or hydrated matrix, through which genetic signaling occurs, Yuida concluded, this little excerpt, when lattice vibration is introduced, the lattice vibration does not only generate the waves with various frequencies, but also amplifies the incident wave resonantly. On a resonance, the amplification factor increases very rapidly as the number of plates, or layers, increases. Resonant frequencies change with the phases of vibration of each lev- layer. Such amplification occurs except for the case that all layers oscillate with the same phase, namely, that of shaking the system, even if the frequency of the lattice vibration is very small. Lattice, or sound, vibration makes a photonic light crystal an active media. The amplification is observable. This explains how a very small frequency of energy, imperceptible to human senses, is naturally amplified into higher volume signals of sound, transposed into light, electromagnetically and bioacoustically manifesting your body or personal biohologram in space-time. These findings also evidence the legitimacy of a cohesive theory explaining how 528 hertz music, featuring the energy at the heart of cosmic unity, demonstrates the capacity to vibrate DNA and your biohologram back into harmony or symphony with God's primordial frequencies. Love does this likewise. This is how love administers healing and why it has been proven to be the universal healer. That means, of course, spiritual healing is the natural result of attuning to the matrix of creation for recreation and restoration of your innate perfection. This is your natural inheritance, a state of balance and well-being. Now, you can appreciate how music, art, or sacred geometry, especially the elements in the perfect circle of sound, 
impact your spiritual composition and divine origin. Viewing the nine-pointed star, the circle, the mathematical frequencies, the amulet heralding the words love and thanks stimulates light receptors in your eyes, relaying these frequencies, messages to your brain and your heart. These messages reawaken what has been primor primordially programmed into you by God. This blessing is equally celebrated by nature by most obviously using chlorophyll, the 528 love phonon photon energy transformer that keeps you alive with every breath. If you were created in the image of God through the sound of his or her voice impacting the water, then your lips must be your co-creative instruments best used in problem solving or healing. Therefore, for you to heal yourself and help create world health, Cooperatively recreating everything with love in 528 is a wise and scientifically valid prescription, and the most powerful healing modality is freely available to you right now, your lips. <clears throat> now don't be shy or intimidated. Stop worrying you'll be judged or off-key. Along with 528 compositions, sing, chant, or at least pray using your lips to transmit love as much as you can into your body water just as our creator did in the beginning and is still doing right now. This is the main reason I launched 528records.com, i528tunes.com, and 528radio.com. These musical domains were conceived as a way to help everyone broadcast love musically through the hydrated atmosphere to the whole world, exponentially amplifying the 528 love signal, thus opening people's hearts on a massive scale. Since the atmosphere and entire universe is filled with water, the more people sing and play music in 528 hertz frequency, or 528 transposed music, the more love will radiate from senders to receivers and back again. This energy travels like a boomerang along the cosmic strings of the spinning, energy-balancing, double toroidal universe. What goes around comes around, due to this spiraling eight. Karma is automatically administered with the cosmic energy recycling system. Given that spirit, or water, is a liquid crystal superconductor of sound and light, this explains how the sound of 528 love, especially coupled with heartfelt loving intention to produce healing, can produce miraculous healing. This simple thesis is solidly evidenced by science. For instance, Yuida's work observes the interaction of light and sound based on the interaction of electrons with sound. He wrote that these energies impact crystal lattices in your body water. When the photonic crystal is vibrated, an electromagnetic field is generated. This can be measured and mathematically predicted. The lattice vibration generates the light frequency, the light of frequency, Yuida reported. Also, Yuida's test showed the greater the number of layers in the crystal lattice receiving the test sounds, the higher the resonance frequency got. So fret not if you are overweight. The resonance of love is amplified by your added layers, and 528 can still work miracles. Uh, shout out to everybody that's here right now listening. This is We're going to move on to the next passage. This next passage is called Terminating Infectious Diseases with 528. Years ago, I was asked to research a simple mineral water claimed to cure infections. The advanced silver hydrosol was developed by NASA scientists to keep astronauts healthy in space. The product was manufactured using sound and light energy in a non-nuclear reaction chamber. The safe energy caused the water to bond covalently to the microfine silver. The technology produced a silver water that could be safely used without having the silver buildup in your body, as may occur with colloidal silver providing powerful protection against nearly every infectious disease. I was astonished by what I discovered. The technology had been heavily suppressed by the drug cartel and grossly neglected by the mainstream medicine. This potential cure for everything, from AIDS to malaria, had been kept from needy people worldwide so that the Illuminati could continue to control populations most profitably. When asked to help, this, when asked to help turn the situation around, I consented under one condition. I required the manufacturer to install an argon laser outputting the greenish-yellow 528 hertz frequency of light along with the 528 hertz 
uh, frequency of sound while the water was being prepared for market. I also required prayer by faithful lab technicians making the mixture of sound, light, silver, and water most powerful. I knew the improved product would be a double super superconductor of love and healing energy. Water and silver are both superconductors of sound and light. Their electrons would be enriched with the resonant energy of love 528 Hz frequency. This powerful new product, today marketed under the name, brand name OxySilver, is a safe, affordable solution to the pollution and intoxication caused by petrochemical antibiotics and deadly vaccines. I'm proud to have helped so many people who have used OxySilver and pleased to provide a natural remedy with prayer power added and encouraged. I'd highly recommend looking that up if anybody is interested in that. That's on his website. This is the next passage. Practical applications for the wa water resonator. The water resonator is another one of his uh, healing machines. Excuse me. <clears throat> Another healing application of this information is the water resonator, which uses the same mathematics, harmonics, geometrics, and magnetic energy dynamics to impart the 528 hertz frequency into water to energize it. And since the air is hydrated, your environment can be energized by simply putting this image on your windows, mirrors, computer screens, and bio shields, or sorry, windshields. When these are placed on crystalline materials, including glassware and plastic, their light and energy is amplified while moving through the layers of these crystals, as UBIT approved. Thus, water can be programmed with powerful, prayerful messages of 528 Hz love and healing in this way. Other applications of the water resonator include placing them with prayer and loving intent on acupressure points to stimulate desired outcomes. Measurements taken with sensitive technology when this was done repeatedly showed a balancing of pineal gland activity, which is best explained by the information previously provided in Chapter 6. Float 4-inch water resonators on water in swimming pools and ponds to resonate thousands of gallons of water at once. Each time you use this technology, you transmit a signal of 528 love to bless your body and environment. Other practical applications of this perfect circle of sound healing knowledge include CDs, tuning forks, 528 fashions, jewelry, wind chimes, and the Miracle 6 frequency generator that can be programmed to generate 528 and other core creative frequency or vibrations. My main objective in endorsing and or developing these products is to enhance and widely distribute the power of love for healing. It's on to the next... Um, passage water with love 528 for baptisms since everything carries an energy signature created by sound and light acting through water entrainment to divine frequencies occurs best in water because it is a liquid super, liquid crystal superconductor this is what baptism is really about recharging your body nearly 80 percent water with spirit or water that transmits divine energy divine human communion takes place. This is also why jumping into the ocean is so healing, besides invigorating. Baptism is an important part of Christian theology as our Creator's spiritual energy, commonly referred to as the Holy Spirit, is omnipresent, especially in the healing springs and holy waters of the world. On to the next passage. Kim Ivy, that's totally okay. Shout out to you. Thank you for being here. Florentino, thank you for coming in here. The Pool of Possibilities. The famous Canadian photographer and author Courtney Milne demonstrated this best. After traveling around the world to photograph the most sacred places on Earth for this book, Sacred Earth, Courtney returned home and read about Dr. Masuro Emoto's work. Dr. Emoto's research had a profound effect on me, Milne wrote giving me a new appreciation of water as a miraculous substance, especially in my pool. While participating as an organizer of Live H2O Concert for the Living Water in 2009, Courtney informed me that he had experimented on his pool, as Dr. Himoto had recommended, using the water resonator. 
the Perfect Circle of Sound logo was enlarged, laminated, and glued to the side of his 40-foot swimming pool. He wanted to test Emoto's hypothesis that the message of love and thanks presented to water would affect the quality and molecular structuring of the liquid. Nearly three weeks later, while bathing with friends, they all noticed a remarkable difference in the clarity and feel of the water. The texture became silky smooth, and it seemed as though the water became more beautiful. So Courtney began observing the changes in his pool. <clears throat> he photographed the pool, and thousands of films later concluded, you don't need to be a world traveler to find the most sacred spot in your own backyard swimming pool. Mr. Milne's magnific magnificent photos documenting this loving journey are, are available online at poolofpossibilities.com. I would highly recommend checking out poolofpossibilities.com. That's actually a very cool um, experiment. Marius, shout out to you. Thank you for coming in here. The next passage is other examples of healing water. Long before John Hutchinson heralded lab research claiming the series of solfeggio frequencies purified water in the Gulf of Mexico, polluted by the deep water horizon oil spill, Austrian investigator Victor Schauberg had produced similar results with water using vortex technologies and frequencies of sound. Emoto had written about the benefits of praying faithfully over water and watching the loving, thankful messages transform even severely polluted areas. I was grateful in 2008 to have Dr. Emoto visit our Kingdom of Heaven estate and health retreat on the big island of Hawaii where he collected water samples from stream vents on our land, issuing the breath of the earth. We routinely collect and drink this amazingly powerful liquid, serving mainly hot with fresh organic lemongrass grown in our garden. The sweet-tasting holy water is believed to hold the energy resonance for which the big island of Hawaii is famous. That is, Pele's breath is believed by native healers, called uh, kahunas, to hold the purgative and restorative energy signature of the land, the Aina, or Mother Earth. Local kahunas relay a prophecy that the rebirth of civilization on Earth shall come through an umbilical cord stretching from this land to the center of the universe. This information was known to Dr. Emoto and his staff when they performed this crystallography. The human fetus ultrasound image in the center of a water crystal in this figure is remarkable for a number of reasons. The supermolecule is made of nearly a million smaller water molecules. These arrange themselves into this image of a fetus by divine intention to deliver a message. The same message was sent through a dozen other images in this series of films. All the images reflect some aspect of reproduction of love, or reproduction and love. The images shown in figure 45, selected from the series of photos, show a heart and yin and yang symbol. They reinforce the message of love. The yin-yang symbol is birthing through what appears to be a microscopic histologic cross-section of a fallopian tube. The entire series of films is viewable at breathofearth.net. This is the next um, passage. Other suggested uh, 528 uses. Carrying a 528 tuning fork in your car, briefcase, pocketbook, and or leave one at your desk. Pull it out whenever you need an instant remedy for anxiety. Strike it, close your eyes, except while driving, and wave it around your head and heart. Feel the powerful love of 528. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, everybody. I just spilled tea. <laughs> just spilled tea right next to my computer, actually. So that is why I had the reaction I did. I think I got it, though. Apologize, everybody, for this tiny little break. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I'm glad I got that.
even better is that's on uh, that's on camera now. Wow, and I and I didn't get I didn't get any of my electronics. Wow. Thank you, five twenty eight. All of that <laughs> to uh, to show you. <laughs> 528 tuning fork. <laughs> Play that again. Grateful that we avoided uh, catastrophe. Let's get back to the reading. Sorry for that tiny break. <laughs> oh, wow. It even, like, the T missed my electrical outlet by this much. Could have shorted my... <laughs> oh, wow, that could have been bad. Okay, anyways, let me, um, let me just restart this passage over and uh, never put my T in that same place again. Other suggested 528 uses, a.k.a. Uh, it saving your studio. Carry a 528 tuning fork in your car, briefcase, pocketbook, and or leave one at your desk. Pull it out whenever you need an instant remedy for anxiety. I might need to pull it out again. Strike it, close your eyes, and wave it around your head and heart. Feel the powerful love of 528 and its harmony in your heart, freeing your mind of fruitless worry. Don't forget to pray with it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I might need to uh, <laughs> hit the tuning fork again. <laughs> Do the same with your bath water. Strike the tuning fork and or sorry, strike the tuning fork on a rubber hockey puck or on your knee, then submerge your hand to sink the handle of the 528 tuning fork into the water. Let it vibrate and play out completely. Repeat this a total of six times with prayer. Your bath will feel much more relaxing. Structured water has been shown to be more energizing with higher oxidative and reductive potentials than unstructured water. That's kind of like switching to high octane gas in your car or the difference between 528 and 741 in your ears. A group of sound healing researchers in Israel routinely travel with 528 hertz tuning forks. They activate them whenever confronted by angry people. Also, they play the forks whenever they come upon others in conflict. They claim this distracts, fascinates, and humors those engaged in arguments. They strike the 528 fork, wave it through the air, and it seems to help settle the disputes. Can you imagine what might happen if United Nations peacekeepers were to brad broadcast 528 pure tones around Gaza, Jerusalem, and Palestine? It's a great question. How 528 hertz structured water works. There is great creative and curative power in subtle vibrations. These frequencies, especially in 528 hertz, affect your body water its hydroelectricity and resonance energy. The sound of 528 changes the molecular structure of water, its wet ability and signaling capacity. The wet ability of water is a function of ORPs, short for oxidative reductive potentials. The entire universe is hydrated and every action and reaction in space-time is mediated by electrons. When the hydrogen in spirit water donates its electron to oxygen, it is oxidized. The oxygen is reduced, and its charge turns negative from the added electron provided by the oxidized hydrogen. This basic chemistry affects water's wet ability and the capacity to transmit nutrients across cell membranes. This is essential for metas metabolism, life support, and optimal health. Water provides the basic chemistry of divinity and reality. The, ge the genetic strands shown in figure 43 were published in a journal, in the journal, Science. These photographs show DNA's electrical potential being studied by geneticists from the University of California at Berkeley. The top photo shows DNA bathing in energetically active, structured, or clustered, water. These hydroelectrified double helices hold far greater energy potentials than the same strands of DNA show below them. Dehydration caused the difference. This dehydration experiment proves 
that a slight reduction of energized water bathing genetic matrices caused DNA to destructure and fail energetically. Excuse me. <clears throat> Dehydration followed by electrical degradation results in molecular chaos or entropy. This experiment shows the hydrosonic forces hold your DNA together as they do the universe. Besides playing a key role in healing through electrogenic, electrogenetic signaling, water's subtle energy transmissions underlie the success of myriad healthcare practices from homeopa homeopathy and acupuncture to biotechnologies such as magnetic resonance imaging, which is an MRI, and rife frequency generators. Planetary protection and healing, many scientists now agree, depends on water involved in purification and natural cleanup. Surely, water is our planet's most precious, creative, and healing resource. H2O's astonishing ability to transform its structure in response to human emotions and heartfelt intentions simply means that words, a set of alphanumeric sound and light frequencies, affect the nature, structuring, energy, carrying, and creative signaling capacities of water. Spiritually blessed water is divinely structured into mainly hexagonal rings, as shown in figure 442. Inspired by these revelations, Dr. Emoto dedicated his life to preserving precious water purity and advancing his technology to demonstrate that water is conscious and responsive to words, music, and prayer. Often, the water he studies yields spiritual messages, and he routine re recommends routinely recommends using 528 hertz frequency to bless the water with love. We made it to the next passage. I am, um, you know, I have uh, just a little bit of anxiety about the tea, so I'm gonna um, take Dr. Horowitz's advice and uh, just give give a little calm calm of the air here. Much better. Thank you to everybody who's here and witnessed that uh, miracle <laughs> that my computer didn't get soaked in tea. Even more of a miracle that we have some tea left. It's staying as far away from me as it can. All right, <laughs> next passage. Live H2O, Concert for the Living Water. In 2009, Dr. Emoto and I collaborated during Live H2O, Concert for the Living Water, to herald these revelations about water and promote peace on earth, world health, and universal prosperity. We prayed for the holy water of the world in an effort to benefit all life forms still surprisingly surviving on this chemically uh, belligerent planet. Groups in nearly 80 countries par participated by praying and playing in 528 hertz frequency. Figure 46 shows an amazingly meaningful and beautiful crop circle featuring elements of 528 hertz and the perfect circle of sound. The cosmic wonder appeared in Wiltshire, England on 621, the prayer day of the live H2O concert. The art depicts a double yin-yang symbol or infinity sign. Both sides contain the 6-9 symbol of the, at the heart of the SGW. The art also appears to be similar to a drawing of mitosis, that is, a single cell division to yield to new cells. Among hundreds of messages I received giving thanks for organizing this historical event, this extraterrestrial message is most profound. There is no possible way this exquisitely precise crop circle could have been created by a bunch of farmers stomping through the field. In fact, there is no commonly known technology on Earth that could produce this, although it is fairly certain it was done energetically, affecting the crop electromagnetically using frequencies. This crop circle graphs the fundamental musical mathematical energies promoted during the live H2O to integrate and harmonize the one world divine family to live in balance as per the music of love. You will also notice the crop circles here line up on the farmer's tractor tracks like whole notes written on a sheet of music. It also contains elements consistent with a musical treble clef. Let me uh, 
just show it again because I think we scrolled past it. This is what he's talking about for everybody on YouTube. This is what manifested on the day that they were doing the prayer day for the concert that he held. The crop circle features 528, the MI, me, or miracle note in the original Solfeggio musical scale that equals a six. Do you see the large sixes in the crop circle? Uh, for anybody on YouTube, you can go back just a little bit. The fa note stands for family having a frequency of 639 or nine. Find the nines in the crop circle. These two notes, mi and fa, at the heart of the original Solfeggio scale provides the 6-9 or yin and yang symbol reflecting polarity and balance universally. The spinning spiraling number 8, also prominent here, relays the universe's structure and infinity sign. The implications of this healing information are myriad and urgent. This intelligence compels reconsideration of the manner in which our planet and people are being abused, polluted, energetically retarded, or spiritually suppressed. The concert for the living water celebrating love 528 was the pebble in the pond intended to stimulate the evolutionary energy needed to secure love peace health and prosperity for generations to come that is chapter 10. wow that is very cool there's so much love and light in that chapter too uh, thank you to everybody who's here live with me. Thank you to everybody that is on TikTok. Thank you to everybody that's on YouTube. Um, we are only, oh, it's 144. Of course, it's 144. Shout out to anybody that resonates with that number, 144. Um, <laughs> we are going to take a little break. We're only doing one chapter today, and we're kind of building up into Friday. Friday is the day we're going to be interviewing Dr. Horwitz and asking questions and giving him a platform to speak anything that he's learned since the release of this book. Um, so we're kind of building into that. Today we have a meditation Monday, so again, we're only doing one chapter. Tomorrow we're going to be doing two chapters and finishing the chapters in the book with leaving Wednesday and Thursday for the appendix, which is about 150 pages. Uh, it's about as long as the chapters, but the appendix has so much information. Um, so that is all we got on YouTube. I'm going to stay up on TikTok for a little bit. For everybody that's on YouTube, that book was The Book of 528 by Dr. Leonard Horowitz. Um, I am going to make sure that my computer is safe, that my electronics are safe. I'm sure they are because of 528, but just to double check. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for being here. Undercover Angel, shout out to you. That's funny. I said the 144 and you're in here. I didn't realize that that was you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to everybody that was here. And I will see you in about an hour for Meditation Monday. Okay. I love you all. Peace.